All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Ego Waffles 6. I hope everyone is doing great today. I know that I am a little bit early here. Got my coffee with me. Hopefully you guys have something to drink, something to eat on, and you're kicking back, relaxing, and enjoying your day as well. So in the last episode, we got into Tinker's Construct. We did update the pack uh, maybe like two episodes ago. There was another subsequent update to it, which we are now rocking on. So we are still on the most recent version as of what, July the 17th when I am recording this um so yeah so we got into tinkers and i think we're gonna keep going on that path today because in the last episode we only got like the smeltery really set up we didn't really get into any of the tools and i really want to get a good hammer up and going so that we can head down into the um into the mines and get a little bit of mining done because i feel like we uh we're lacking on a little bit of resources here um so that's what we're gonna work on today so Tinkers is uh, pretty straightforward once it starts getting to this point in time, right? Here, we're going to start making um, the actual components of the tools. Now, this really hasn't changed that much since, like, well, really since, like, the creation of Tinkers, I feel like. I mean, I don't know the very first version, but it's been this way for quite some time. Um, now, it does look like, actually, um, in order to make a hammer, we might need an upgraded station as well. Because it looks like our tinker station is not going to be uh, able to accommodate that. So let's take a quick peek here. We'll go into tinkers here. Make let me make sure that my uh, my uh, volume is working here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sometimes the audio gets a little bit off, so I just wanted to make sure there that you guys can hear what I'm hearing as well. All right. So we do have the anvil which I don't know if that's what we need. It's not extremely clear. And you know what? I don't even have the book on me anymore. Where's the book? We have the uh, punny smelting. Let's see. Is this what we want here? I feel like this is extremely loud in my ears. And it is because my headphone volume is extremely loud. That might be the problem. So no, that didn't have anything we need. What about the mighty smeltery here? Is this going to tell us tools? Aha! Requires a tool forge. That's what we need is a tool forge, which I don't think we have, do we not? Tool forge. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Is there not as okay? What are we supposed to do? Apologies for yelling. This makes absolutely no freaking sense, man. No freaking sense. Can we make an obsidian hammer? I never really looked into that. This makes zero sense. So what am I supposed to use, man? Maybe we're supposed to use the... Um, the uh, anvil. Maybe that's what we got to make it on. Because there's literally nothing else. There's no other kind of component that we would put together, is there? I mean, unless we got up to a um, a foundry, I don't know why we would have to have a foundry in order to do it. My nose is a bit, a little bit stuffy today, so I'm gonna have to forgive me if I sneeze here or there. But you know, that's how it be, right? Um, all right. I, I mean, honestly, the only craftable with with any alloy blocks, and this doesn't. Oh, it does. Okay. Ha! I'm an idiot. So we need uh, seared stones and stuff. Okay, out of curiosity, I'm going to try this out. All right, so in order to get this going here, which I actually don't have it saved on our side here, so I want to get this um, Tinker's Anvil going here. And um, it looks like you can use yeah, just scorched blocks in general or seared blocks. Okay, so I guess we could have used seared blocks. Um, I went ahead and I actually got uh, some scorched um, stuff ready to go. And actually, maybe we should save it because um, now I'm a little bit more worried because I think we can utilize it for this, right? We would want scorched brick, which is nether grout, which is, uh, you know what? We already, we've already committed. We've already committed. We could have gone a different way, but we have committed. So the way that we're going to do this first, let's make sure we have the magma cream at the bottom that we do. And then all we got to do is hit that over some gravile, just like so, in a basin, and that should get us our scorched. 
scorched stone. And we just need to get four of these in order to get up and going the actual um, anvil here, as you can see. So, and we actually, I cra or no, I crafted up just enough, just enough of the steel blocks to get us going as well. Now, we should have just enough here to get us this last one, which is perfect. And then once this is up and going, we'll check it out and see if this is what we even need to be uh, utilizing here. Um, this is a crafting station, so let's utilize that. Move all our items, and there we go. We have our nice tinkerer's anvil here. Which again, guys, I have no idea if this is going to work in the way I'm hoping it will. We're going to place it right there for the time being. Aha! It does! So, <clears throat> you do need to have the anvil up and going in order to make... Uh, they call it a sledgehammer, but it's a hammer regardless, right? So... That's what we need to have up and going in order to make the um, sledgehammer. I am curious because the pack did update. Did they add in anything around Tinkers? Um, I don't think they did. I think it's all still focused on Tetra up there. And then tools. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like they have. There's jetpacks and stuff like that, guys, in this uh, pack. But um, I, I know I've talked on it before. So I'm not going to get into it anymore. Any whoosins. So... Let's try to get up and going what we need for a sledgehammer. So the nice thing about this is that we can look right in here and see what resources we would need for a sledgehammer. So you need two plates. You're going to need this bad boy in between, the uh, hammerhead, and then a tough handle. So shouldn't be too bad. So we're going to want a large stone plate. We're going to need a tough tool handle. And then we're going to need a hammerhead, all just like so. Now we're going to come back over here. We're going to get our gold back on the bottom because we're going to take these and we're going to try to make some platelets out of it. Basically, you want to create casts, right? Now, these are the actual items themselves, but set in stone. So what you want to do then is morph a metal around them to get a cast. So you could then put any other metal into its place in that cast. Now, there's other ways to do this. You don't have to do it with gold, I believe. You could also do it with... Um, a number of different things right you could do it with uh sand it looks like yeah sand is the new thing before it used to be clay and i guess now they've changed it to sand kind of strange um, but we're gonna go right to gold because we have all the gold that we would need right so all we gotta do is that right here in the casting basin so you just put your um, item down in there you put uh, the gold on the bottom and you let it kind of come out here and there we go we now have our hammerhead cast now we're gonna put down our um large plate cast there we'll get that going and this will consume the item that you had so these stone items that we're utilizing it does consume them so do keep that in mind as you're going through again i'm sure most of you already know that but there we go oh look at this pretty little bee hey buddy how you doing all right so and then what we can utilize is this cast chest to actually hold on to all of those so from here, um, there's a number of different paths that we could go. You could just jump right on into getting things crafted up, which is probably what we'll just do, um, considering um, we don't really have too many options in, in forms of um, in forms of resources that we could use for materials wise, right? Molten items. There's only so much that we can utilize, and you can actually go through here and kind of see some of the the outlines. Cobalt, I believe, is one of the best ones that you could get. Um, Constantine copper is pretty decent. Electrum is, seems pretty good. Flint is not going to do you that great. Hepatization. <laughs> okay, it's very interesting. Iron, um, lead, silver. Yeah, you could go through and you can see all the different durabilities, the additional stats on it. You can hit shift and you can see all the different stats here as well. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to take a brief second and look through and see what we have the ability to do resource wise and what we can uh, get up and going here relatively shortly all right guys so i think i figured out the best one for us to start with based on the materials we have now we could do some resource hunting and obviously get something a little bit better um like maybe like a cobalt or something like that uh but really for us the best thing is going to be a steel sledgehammer um it's actually relatively decent uh it has a good mining speed it does have ability to upgrade um and it has very very good durability so I think that's what we're going to ultimately go with. We should have some steel laying around. Um, that is the one thing that is actually kind of hard to come by in this pack is getting some steel going. Um, I don't think there's actually that many ways to produce steel. Um, 
But the nice thing about tinkers is that we can easily smelt down any steel component that we would uh, we would need to. So but let's see here. Recipe, if we could take a quick peek here. Um, it looks like, okay, you can't do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is there any other easy way to get steel? It looks like in the arc furnace is going to be the next big thing. But even still, you need coal coke in order to do it, which is kind of kind of quite annoying that that ultimately ends up being the case right like it would be nice if we didn't have to use to use that so that's why i'm trying to look through yeah coal coke yeah it looks like coal coke is like the only way for us to get steel half the time and even steel dust i don't think we can get that very easily unless we had a steel bee so we're gonna have to work on that I think getting a steel B going would be uh, really, really convenient for us. Um, but actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if we're going to have enough steel, man. We only got 13 things of steel. Um, so we might want to hold off on that and maybe actually do a different resource. Now that I looked at our overall resources of steel, uh, we could go back and take a quick peek at the hammers again. The other thing I did want to call out is they actually have this Tinker's uh, Vein Hammer now. And it's used for like vein mining. If you don't have that in your pack already, uh, most packs are going to have that. So don't really need to worry about that too much for us. You could get a bronze one. We could do the bronze route. That's not too bad. I think we would have enough for the bronze. So let's do that. Why not? Get some bronze going here. So all we need for this. Does it have to be in a... Uh, nah, it could be in there. So we just need... Really? Okay. Glass and copper. I didn't see that one coming. All right. Well, we'll get some glass and then we'll get some copper. Don't know how much we'll need, but I'll get quite a bit of it just to keep us occupied, right? All right, we'll throw this in, man. This is very, very weird. I I don't know why I thought it would be something different, but I mean, hey, if, if it wants glass, which I'm, I'm guessing you could probably use. I have no idea, man. Maybe sand. We'll, we'll throw both of those in there. We have gold and we have iron. I hope these don't combine in any negative way, but we're going to find out relatively soon. That's going to get in there. That's going to get in there. It's not going to make bronze right away, I don't believe, because what was the combination that it needed? Get some bronze up and going. All right. It wanted one block to three ingots. So we'll put two more in there. And then that should give us a little bit, right? How much is that going to give us overall? I didn't even look at the quantity. Three ingots of that. So. Okay. Molten rose gold. And one molten block of glass. I think. I think things are getting weird here. How do we get rose gold? Okay, now I'm getting real. Now I'm getting real. And you can combine different things too, guys. We don't have to it all be the one same exact type of material all throughout. Where is this? What does this need to get going? And then gold, which I didn't think I had it next to each other, but I mean, I guess I was mistaken. Um, this is where it always gets tricky. So we have four ingots there. We're going to definitely want to make something so we can get some of the stuff out of here. So, but if we do that and we'll do that and we'll put another one in there, another one and we'll do that. So that should make it up. It's going to go on the top there. Um, yeah. And that should shift into, is it just shifting into rose gold? That's so, okay. That one actually shifted into molten tinkers bronze. Which is so strange is that it took that long in order to get that going. But now we have a lot of rose gold. Huh. Oh, this is so strange. All right, we'll, we'll keep trying this out. We'll get some materials going here. All right, guys, I got it sorted out. I ended up cleaning it out a little bit here. Um, so getting the rose gold there and then the, just the gold on its own as well. So we'll hold on to that. And then went ahead and made up a bunch of um, this Tinker's Bronze, which should be pretty good. I think it'll be good for us to start with at least, right? Again, guys, there's a gajillion different combinations that you can have for tinkers. So just keep that in mind as you are going through. 
Um, I did also make up a ingot cast here just in case um, we would need it at some point, which we have been using it, so that's good. All right, so we're going to throw down the uh, tough tool rod first. We're going to put that in there. Don't know how much it's going to take. I know, I think it could show you like how many ingots it takes per. Um, let's see there, everyone, actually. Uh, I took a couple ingots to get that one going there. Uh, so we got our tough tool rod. We'll put that away. We're going to need our hammer head. We'll throw that in there. Um, what we were sitting at. Okay, that one actually took up quite a bit. Yeah, that took up quite a bit uh, to get that one going there. So I don't know if we'll have enough for our hammerheads, unfortunately, right now. Um, so let's uh, get a little bit more going here. Throw all that in like so. And we'll put that away because we need two of these bad boys then, right? I don't know if this will hold our inventory for us. If I throw that and that in there. Okay, I will hold on to it. It looks kind of funky. I'm just chilling over there, uh, but it should be fine. So we should be able to get this going. Don't know how much overall it, it will take. It actually looks like it didn't take too much of it. So hopefully that's the case moving forward. And we just need two of these. Uh, so we'll hop over here. We'll throw that one in there. And then once this bad boy dries out, just like so, we'll put that away. And we'll come back over and we will go like so. And we are going to get the Tinker's Bronze Sledgehammer. Now, it's not amazing. Don't get me wrong, guys. There's definitely way better things. I know I've been saying that this whole entire time. So do keep that in mind. I guess the other thing I maybe I'll want to show you is that you can combine different things here. So if we took our tough tool rod handle, right? Let's say we didn't want copper, right? Let's say we wanted something different. Let's get some iron going. Why not? We'll take the iron, pump that bad boy out here. And we'll get a tough iron tool rod here. Just like so. We'll throw that in there. We'll come back over here to our hammer. Um, and as you can see, you can actually switch it out. So now it has switched it. It actually gave us some better modifiers uh, than what it was before. It gave us sturdy. Uh, but as you can see, it's switching out our overall durability. Actually, we get more durability utilizing the uh, the iron handle there than what we would normally. Um, the mining speed isn't as amazing. Don't get me wrong. Oof. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. 2.8 on mining speed. I don't know. I think that means that it's slower or maybe it's quicker. I don't remember. I don't remember how the mining speed works, honestly. So, uh, but yeah, there we go right there. We'll get that. And that's our first tinkers tool. Now we do have a part chest over here. So what we can easily do is hold on to that bronze tough handle there just in case we do want to use it down the line at some point in time. Now, the other thing I should mention that we can get up and going here are repair kits. So I'm going to grab this uh, and then we should still have some. Do we have gold in here? We have a teeny little bit of gold in there. Let's uh, throw that all back in there so we can get some more gold going here. Um, because basically what we we'll want to do is we'll want to get the repair kits going here. So the repair kits are really nice. They allow you to fix your tools on the go. Um, and it just honestly depends on like with what you need dependent on what the tool is. So hopefully we can use this Tinker's bronze in this repair kit. I don't know how much it takes. We had five in there. Looks like it took about two. <clears throat> so we'll have one of these with us just in case we need it. I guess we could also do an iron one just in the off chance that it's the iron repair kit that we need. That's the thing where it does get a little bit funky. Is that you're not a, I'm not 100% sure on what you're going to need uh, repair kit wise when you are starting to blend up your um, oh lord oh lord luckily we're we're like all saved through here so if you were to blow up wouldn't be that big of a deal but anywho so the other thing that we can do actually is we can also put modifiers on this bad boy and I think it talks about it does it talk about it in this one I don't think it does talks about materials which we've kind of talked on there's actually the tinkers bronze right there we're going to put this in our backpack i think it, is it in materials in you yeah i think this is where it is modifiers so this talks on the modifiers um, and different things generally that each one will do so diamond is going to increase your durability your mining speed and attack damage um, and you can only use it one time and it does require one upgrade slot each of these will have varying upgrade slots for us i believe we have two upgrades yeah two upgrade slots that we can utilize here so we could put some diamonds on that which is really nice 
Um, and if we had a sword going, we could do uh, a bottle of enchanting, which will increase experience that we get. Uh, as you can see, overall, there's a whole bunch of different things, right? But the best thing for us, to be completely honest, is um, either getting redstone on there, or I believe it's in here somewhere. I thought it was lapis, if I'm not mistaken. I thought that um, harvesting... Hmm. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a thing anymore where you could get... Basically, you could get luck, right? And get more bang for your buck overall. But it really doesn't look like it's... Um, doesn't look like it's over here, right? You have blasting, which uh, removes that. Again, redstone is really good. Um, hydraulic light speed. Mines well lit blocks faster. And then uh, magnetic is that. So I guess redstone is going to be our best bet here. All right, so I got three blocks of redstone. Let's see what we do here. I don't know if we can use all three, um, but we're going to... Oh, we got these guys. Hate these guys, man. Oh, come on. We got to get them. Got to get them. They, they're really not that bright, are they? Oh, this one might be coming in hot. There we go. We got them. This is actually not too bad. These guys aren't too bad. They're annoying because they take a thousand years to come back down. And that one literally just yeeted itself in there. And now we have blood. Huh. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, I think that was it. That was the last of them. All right, anyways. So, yeah, it does look like we can put it on there. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like haste 27 of 45. So, there's 27 pieces of redstone in these uh, these blocks here, obviously. So, uh, that means 27 out of the 45 that we can apply to it, which is really nice. It does show lapis on here. That's why I'm a little bit confused. I kind of want to try it out, even though it doesn't say it in the book. I want to see if we can use the lapis lazilis um, and uh, just get that going. I'm just going to grab some normal redstone as well. Got to get these off of here. Otherwise, it'll automatically pull into there. Uh, we'll just grab that. And let's see. I don't know how much lapis we have. I think we have a decent amount. Do we not? Uh, we do. Okay. Okay. We'll grab that, we'll grab that, we'll put that away, put that away, put that away. Um, I'll need to hold on to those. Don't need that rose gold right now. Really cool. Would love to use that for something down the line, though, for sure. All right, so let's get over here real quick and try this out. All right, we'll throw that on there with our hammer. That should uh, get it up there to max haste, which is awesome. And then can we use Lapis? It's funny because it has a slot for it, as you can see. It still shows it, but it doesn't do anything, so interesting um you know to know to note that that is the uh the case with the tent it doesn't work um but let's give this a shot let's uh hopefully this is going to be really really good and uh we can use it for some time um down in our minds so let's get all this stuff put away here really quickly uh we're going to put our bowls away as well and let's hop down in the mine all right here we go and we just fall all the way down because water and let's give this a nice rip. So, what level are we at? 37? We're at a pretty decent level here, right? Um, we have done, obviously, quite a bit of mining through here over time. Um, and really, we could keep on the same path over here uh, of, of mining and trying to find some good stuff. Now, we did have this bigger at one point in time, but because of our reset, uh, we reset the some of the chunks. Uh, it has reset, obviously, some of the chunks that we uh, mined into. So, And this is already so, so nice. As you guys can see, like this thing just tears through and gets all the stuff that we need, which is so nice. And it, the durability is holding up pretty decently. Um, it looks like it's it's going to go quick. Like I, There was no doubt in my mind that it would go relatively quick. It's not like it was going to last forever. Uh, so... Something to keep in mind. I mean, what are we at? I mean, we've already used up about 200. So it, it does go very, very quickly here. Where's that thing? Here we go. Um, but I am curious. So we do have the... Um, well, we don't need any of this gabato. That was our all the mods six 
playthrough that we used all that. We don't need that now. We're on to bigger and better materials. All right, so we'll have both of these, right? And I'm curious, if we want to fix this, can we use iron? Can we use bronze? Looks like bronze it is. Bronze would actually fix it for us. So there you go. That's how those work, um, which is super nice. Um, and we can just kind of keep those in there, get those organized, and we're good to go, guys. So yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up there, actually. Um, I'm going to head up back up towards the main base there, but I really wanted to get into some tools, and that was the biggest thing. Kind of run through the basics. Again, this isn't a full tutorial because there's a gajillion different tools, a gajillion different materials you can go through. But overall, you can get a high level feel of what we're going through in this pack and what you need to get up and going. The few works around the version that's in this pack with having to get that anvil up and going in order to get some of the higher tiered items. Um, good to call out there so you guys know that at least if you want to get that, you can go into that uh, interface once you get that up and going and be able to craft up those. So I think from here, though, we are going to move on, obviously, to other things. There's so much stuff for us to still do, so many builds, just so much good stuff. We will be coming back to Tinkers. There's still a lot of tools I would like to actually get from Tinkers. They could be awesome to get the scythe uh, so that we can do some better uh, collection of uh, crops. It would be really nice to do that. The excavator is really cool. This is three by three mining in like dirt or gravel or sand. Super convenient there. The um, a broad axe is really good for trees. You can uh, basically take a small tree in a single swing. Um, so if you didn't want to use a vein miner on a tree, you could obviously just use this, which is really cool. Um, I already talked on the vein hammer, which is, uh, again, a really cool uh, tool as well. Um, but yeah, other and we can always modify this one. I also want to get more resources. We'll spend some time in the nether, maybe getting some cobalt and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I think that is going to do it for today, though. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. We're going to throw these bad boys over there. Uh, feel free to leave a like down below. Better yet, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking on this series. If you're excited for what is coming next. If you are new here and you do want to follow along, definitely hit that subscribe button and bell notification. I'll let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel. Uh, we do stream over on Twitch, usually on Mondays and Fridays at about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But it's always subject to change. So if you feel like keeping up to date with any of those changes, I do announce them over on the community Discord. Both of those links can be found in the description down below for the Twitch and for the Discord if you feel like checking out either of those boys. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today in Ego Waffle 6. I do appreciate it so very much, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Take it easy.